What's up guys? So I just got back from my morning run. I did a total of five kilometers. First kilometer was a warm-up and then four kilometers were at a 4.30 pace. So good run, during sort of medium length run. Really gonna try to get to bed super super early, like maybe eight o'clock tonight. Get up and do a nice long run, maybe like a 10k tomorrow morning. Um, so right now I'm just making a mango smoothie. Basically what I do to make the mango smoothie is I just cut the two sides off the pit of the mango like so. So there's one side and the other side right here. And then I just take a spoon and sort of scoop out the middle. Look at that color, that mango is just, like these mangoes are I just can't believe mangoes exist, basically, because mangoes are just like out of this world, especially these mangoes. But you know, even in Canada, when it's uh, mango season in like Brazil and Mexico and stuff, you know, we still get really good imported mangoes back in Canada. And the cool thing about being in Canada with mangoes is that they're, they don't have to be hot water treated, or at least this is a... This is apparently the case. In, in the States, if they import mangoes, or in a lot of countries, they have to be like hot water dipped. So they're not like as fresh as they could be. But in Canada, they don't have to do that. I guess it's because we don't grow mangoes in Canada, so they don't have to like... Or like, if certain bugs come to Canada, they can't survive. I really have no idea, but I'm guessing that's kind of what the deal is, so... Anyways, bottom line is that mangoes are amazing, and if you have access to any kind of quality mangoes, I suggest you make them a staple in your diet. I definitely have. Whenever I can get my hands on good mangoes, I'm always game. I'm always down for mow and some mangoes. So yeah, that's basically what I do. I just take the mangoes like this, scoop it out, and then boom, into the smoothie. And I've got, how many of these have I got here? I've got seven mangoes here. Probably put at least five in here, however many it can fit. <clears throat> now I'll put some coconut water. And some normal water in to make a delicious mango smoothie. So I'm just going to uh, continue doing this here. So that's that's one mango's worth right there. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I made a video a couple of weeks back. And it was about um, businesses that I would not suggest people support if they come to Thailand. And those businesses are like animal exploitation businesses basically so places where you can you know go on elephant rides or get a photo with a drugged up tiger or you know things like that monkey shows where the monkeys are being you know yanked on their neck to do a trick these kinds of unethical businesses and um, there was somebody who was commenting by the name of Bob Smith if that is your real name and he's basically saying that oh you know I'm just a westerner bringing Western morals and and uh, you know bringing those to Thailand and telling the Thai people how to do things Like this has nothing to do with culture. This has to do with speciesism Okay, this has to do with human beings Thinking that we can exploit Animals for our own financial gain or for our appetite or whatever. It doesn't really matter It doesn't matter that I come from the West it doesn't matter that they do it in Thailand if I went to any other country in the world And they were doing this I would still have the same criticisms I have the same criticisms of, of businesses that do this in Canada And there's many Thai people who also have criticisms of these business businesses in Thailand and they think it's unethical so He's basically telling me I should go back to Canada if I don't like it here. Well, listen I love Thailand. I love so many things about this country, you know, but there are certain things that are not exclusive to Thailand that happen in Thailand, and I think that they're kind of messed up, or totally messed up. So I'm going to speak out about them, and because people watch my channel who are thinking about coming to Thailand, then I'm going to tell people how it is, you know, if you go, if you go to somewhere where you can go in and just like take a selfie beside a tiger, that tiger is on serious drugs, you know, being sedated and is basically just living within a cage. Like, do you think that's a good situation for a tiger? A lot of people don't know this, you know? They just think, oh, those tigers are trained and tame or whatever. And, you know, that's not the case, really. It's really not the case. And the monkeys, you know, they're being yanked. They've got like a chain around their neck and then the, the trainer, you know, yanks the chain and hits their neck and then they throw a ball or whatever. Like, 
it's not cool. It's really not nice for the animals. And I would just recommend, I'd, please do not support these types of businesses if you're coming to Thailand. So that's all I have to say. This is nothing about Western values or Western morals versus Thailand or me telling Thai people how to do anything. This is not about that. This is just about human beings needing to respect animals. So that's all I've got to say about that. What do you think? Write your comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the smoothie now. Got this mango smoothie, five mangoes and some coconut water. And uh, yeah, gonna be delicious. I was gonna say, that's always, that's bigger than my portion. But is that because I just ordered normal and you've ordered the big one? Yeah. So just got to the pool, gonna jump in and get a swim in before it gets too busy right now. Not too many people here. There's one other guy here who's doing the triathlon, so gonna swim with him and enjoy a good swim session. Nice and sunny, great weather. So I'm having goi shai for dinner again tonight. It looks a little different than the other night because this type has like the little like wheat base. It's like a it's like almost like noodley on the outside, but then on the inside, uh, this has got taro and then this has got the green onions. So I'm having goi shai. Got some rice with the sauce that comes with the goi shai, and I've got more rice that I'm gonna put on once I finish this rice. And I've got lettuce. Really like. Really fiend in the greens lately, so uh, yeah, you can eat lots of lettuce, and yeah, this will be dinner. So we're gonna end the vlog there. Really gonna try to get to bed early tonight. I know I say that every night. It's really hard to get to bed early, so gonna do my best. Hopefully, you see me tomorrow morning for a nice long run. I'm gonna try to do 10k tomorrow morning, nice and early. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.